there you go day three of the Oldsboro Way and our second temperature inversion absolutely amazing again we go up at half past five this morning we have clagged out to hell but oh no then it cleared and has left us this this trip is definitely one for the books we've managed to get a little bit of a drone sunrise it's just poking up above there now so yeah it's time to get packed up and uh pulley bridge today then on to the second loop of the trip so i think that's about four miles and hopefully a nice little wild camp up little Melville, which is just there opposite side of us but yeah man this is absolutely incredible but we were about an hour late with the one yesterday so we can't can't stick around this morning so uh, i think it's time to get packed up and just uh get gone but yeah i'm sure we'll uh enjoy this while we're packing up As you can see, we reached uh, Dale Main Manor. It's a great place, this. It was actually had a settlement here since uh, the Saxon period. Uh, but it was basically to protect from the uh, Border Reaver Scots who used to rampage the area. But they've been adding to it over the years. And uh, the last piece was added in 1774, which is the Edwardian front that you can see now. Uh, yeah, it's about 12 quid I think to get in, which we won't be doing today, but as you'll be able to tell by the footage, it's famous for its gardens, and uh, you can go take a tour of the gardens, apparently it's quite beautiful, but we'll be heading off behind Dale Main and on to Dacre, aye, onwards, and there you go behind us is Dacre Castle, which was uh, an old moated manor house built in the 14th century made of the local uh, sandstone stands 66 feet tall yeah, it's quite spectacular that aye through Dacre down to Pooley Bridge and then on to Little Melfell hopefully
Well, good evening and welcome to Galbarra Fell. And we're not on Little Melfell, are we, Phil? No. Uh, unfortunately, we got to our cut-off point up to Little Melfell a little too early and decided, as we've done the high route all the way around, we might as well come up to this point and get the mileage in. And uh, there are two routes. You can either come up the high route or you can go down the low route. And as we would have been doing this on our last day, with only a few miles to go, uh, we decided, let's get the high route done. Tell so we've truth. done it. Tell the truth. Well, I'll tell the truth. Uh, Phil convinced me to do it. <laughs> but yes, as you can see, the end is in sight. Paddale is at the end of Ull's Water. Looking forward to that. Uh, yes, but we did really enjoy the, the extended loop today, seeing Dacre Castle and Dalemay Man Manor, it's called, not Mansion. But yeah, it was a really nice loop, but it's been a, a hard slog today. A lot of up and downs, especially in the, the dead heat. There's been next to no wind. It's only just started picking up. Yeah, a lot more miles. But less miles tomorrow. We've got Aeroforce at the bottom there, which we'll see first thing in the morning. So we should have it all to ourselves. And the sun's coming back out. So with that, I'm going to enjoy a bottle of wine and enjoy the rest of the night. And as always, see you in the morning. the last day on the old waterway uh, it's a little bit clagged out up there so the sunrise is not looking good and um, it's very clagged out a little bit windy and very very wet so unfortunately I don't think we're gonna get anything but we have had some cracking weather throughout this whole trip so I really can't complain uh, would I do it again I reckon I would been a really good one very scenic and obviously you've got old water to look at a lot of time so yeah i reckon it's about 40 miles all in with your world camping coming in off path and so yeah down to aero force today and then uh on the low route around uh Hull's water all the way into glenrid in patterdale and then uh sad farm where we'll head back to the care well, let's go have a look outside. Well, here we go. Wow. The sun has come up and it is coming through the clag. That's absolutely amazing. Yes, well, didn't think we was going to get much and we did. So, happy days. So, just down to Warrior Force, like I said today. And then onwards to Sad Farm for the finish. Did you enjoy it then, Phil? Yeah, it was really good. Uh, the loop on the uh, second day wasn't great, but uh, yesterday's loop was good. And I mean, the Ullswater Way, the 20 mile is fantastic. Really. Yeah. Like I said, it was, it was really scenic. Really enjoyed the high route as well. And doing the wild camping around it, it's been amazing. I mean, you get all this uh, every time. It's, amazing especially with the inversions but yes time to get fed get off and finish it 
so we'll see you next time <laughs>